Welcome Ryder Mitchell, everybody. And, and may I say, may I say, <laughs> to your dress, if nothing that, else. Dolce Gabbana, look at that. Oh, really? Dolce it's Gabbana. all. Yeah. <laughs> now, is that, was that made from an actual leopard? I don't know, but no, I don't think so. I hope not. Would you, would you wear fur? Would you wear... A real dead animal? Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm a vegetarian, so no. Well, I'm not asking you if you would eat it. I'm is just wondering if you would wear it. Even my shoes are fake. Your shoes are fake? Fake leather, yeah. Really? So yeah, you wouldn't even wear like... shoes, but fake leather. The, this is uh, a fake suit. Very nice. I almost believed it was real. No, no. It belonged to an animal, but we traded it. Uh, uh, we never actually, you know, the animal wasn't hurt. The uh, animal was, you know, it was basically, it's an old Bob Barker suit. Oh, but you're That's a bit of an animal yourself. Yeah, yeah. Right. Well, thanks very much. Right. How are you? How was that doing the, uh, the, uh, the movie? It's Greg Kinnear's in that movie, isn't it? Um, that was great film. Yeah. It was a lot of fun to do, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. What's it about? Oh, um, it's like a medley of love stories. So right. a lot of different people fall in love. It's, you know, the complexities of love, the joy of love, the... the utter mind-numbing tedium of love. Do you ever get that? Sometimes. Yeah, yeah, What about the horror of love? The horror of yeah. love. Yeah. What about the, you get half of my stuff of love? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah and yeah. then I pay you for half of the time I was with you anyway yeah, of yeah, love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, All I'm a bit stuff. cynical about the whole love yes, thing yeah, right now. Yeah, you sound a little jaded. I, Do you want I'm to bitter. get into that? Now, I'm a bitter man. I feel that if you live in Los Angeles and you're not bitter, you're not really participating. Do you know what I mean? You haven't really felt it yeah, yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You haven't really thrown yourself into the civic, you know, activity. Uh -huh. uh, because you're not from here, are you? I'm from Australia and we still, we still believe in love there. I, think, I mean, I do, oh, <laughs> personally. Really? Yeah. Really? You believe in love in yeah, Australia? I believe in love, I believe in marriage, I believe in, you know... Uh, have you ever been married? Never been married yet, so maybe that's why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, walk you a mile in my shoes, baby. But are you, yeah. you're still married, right? No, no, me? No, no, not married. Oh, look I, at that. Yeah, yeah. You're not? No, 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 just a, just a scar. And you're never gonna... <laughs> Would you venture in again? Yes, I would done. do it again oh, in a see, heartbeat. Yeah, no, not in a heartbeat, you know, but I would do it again. Well, that's kind of what this film's about. It's people who have sort of had a bad experience, open their hearts, just like you. Yes, I think you have again. to. I think you have to. Now, you're from Australia. Do you, uh, do you miss the poisonous, deadly animals from there? <laughs> Actually. Yeah, I know, because they've got that spider that you go to the bathroom and it kills you. Yeah, yeah. The funnel web spider. The funnel web spider, yeah, you go to the bathroom and you never yeah, come yeah, yeah. back. You gotta, like, <laughs> sit like this yeah, on the why? toilet. Whoa, so you're okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. Steady. It's CBS, not cable. <laughs> I am. Uh... Have you had the folks over to California or anything? I, Have you had the family? I, yeah, I do get a bit lonely, so I've got both of my parents here at the moment. Right now? As we speak. Wow, yeah, that's which lovely. Is, it's really nice to have them around. Yeah, have you taken them anywhere? Shown them any of the wondrous sights of our city? Uh, well, yeah, tonight we're going to go to the Chateau Marmont. Oh, that's And nice, yeah. uh, we went to the MoCA. The and, MoCA uh, Museum of Contemporary Art. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. Oh, I know about stuff. <laughs> Very educated. <laughs> and then we went to Disneyland. So we, we were doing the full gamut. You took yeah. your parents to Disneyland. That's an interesting reversal, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. Did they have a nice time? I think they did. I mean, we kind of wandered around looking at a lot of kids, and then we went on the Tower of Terror, which was... Oh, I haven't been on that yet. I've oh, heard it's very exciting. Oh, you've got to on the Tower of Terror. Yeah. You know, it's very exciting. Basically, they put you in a, in a big chamber and drop you, and they just drop you again, and then they drop you, and they drop you. And at the end, they took a photograph of everybody, you know, who'd been on the ride, and everybody's like... And there's me. And my parents are just sitting like this. Yeah. Nothing compared to the acid we did in the 60s. Yeah. Yes. I'm sure. I like the, uh, I like that. Have your parents been married since the 60s? My parents are not married, so it's very interesting having them together. <laughs> That's great. The no, they're not, they're not together. They're you not together. They're not together. They're not married, them? but they came I love together. that. So are they seeing anyone else? Um, not at the moment, Ooh, no. Oh, hello. So what do you think? Just... <laughs> Yeah. They're getting along very well, I have to say. Yeah, I mean, yeah. they're not here tonight to hear me say this, but they... And, uh, of course, won't be watching, so, yeah. <laughs> That's kind of it. Well, where are they tonight, then? They... Because it's getting late. It must they're... be, what, half quarter past one? They are visiting, um... <laughs> they're visiting... <laughs> um... 30 years later, 
you never know what could happen. See, right? I'm telling you, you, you know, that's know. that's one of the mysteries of love. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> I think that's very interesting. It's very romantic. I am quite romantic. Are you a romantic woman? Um, I'm a Scorpio, so I'm, I, I don't know, sort of romantic, kind of a realist, but no, I, I like passion. I, I have, I'm a passionate soul. Scorpio, sure I, I don't, I don't know much about the uh, about the. Astro are you into the astrological? Um, uh, the whole thing. Yeah, because I'm a Taurus, and we're uh, we're, we're not. supposed to get along. Taurus and Scorpio. It's Taurus true. and Scorpio. Yeah, we do get along. I was married to a Scorpio. Actually. Oh, there you go. Yeah, well, yeah. Obviously not that well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, we got along for a bit, yeah. <laughs> and then not at all. Oh. Okay. And then we're okay now. No, because Taurus is, they're very grounded, they like to collect things, and, and Scorpio is kind of intense, and they kind of sort of... <laughs> collect things? <laughs> <Okay. What's up? laughs> really? <laughs> I love that! <laughs> well, do I collect things? I suppose, um, yeah. not really. No, I, I collect, well, shells. I collect shells. When I go on the beach, I collect shells, I put them all together, and I've built a little temple in my house. <laughs> Do you glue them together? Or no, what? I just hope that no earthquakes come. Uh, so you don't make those little mirrors where they stick the shell, you know, those oh, little old lady nice. mirrors? Do you like those? They're very sweet, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you like that? Well, I live in, on the west side, so everybody's got one of those sort of granny those, shell Yeah, yeah, thing. the shell thing. Do you go, are you a beachy person? Do you walk up and down the beach? I ride my bike on the beach and I like to look at sunsets, but I never get in the water here, ever. Well, no, you don't want to no. do that. Toxic. Well, it's a bit, um... I mean, there's pooey. signs. It's a bit pooey. I mean, you could see the odd diaper floating past, and there are signs. You it's, know, it's when you don't see the diaper, water, that's yeah. what worries me, you know. Right, right, right. Yeah. When you swallow. But not all of it. Some of the beaches in California are lovely, and they're making a big attempt to... Daryl yeah. Hannah's cleaning them all up. Thank God. Yeah, yeah. yeah but yeah. she's doing it herself. Well, she's a mermaid, right? That's right. right. She's a mermaid, so she's cleaning up all the beaches. <laughs> that's sensational. But it is lovely to see you. I'm it's always slightly here. baffled by our conversations, but I feel a better <laughs> man for them. So thank you for coming. Right, I'm Angel, everybody. We'll be right back. My next guest is in a fabulous uh, new movie, which is called uh, Henry Poole is Here, which is in theatres now. Take a look at that. Ferguson in the evening. Really? Mm. What, what did Just you think? Fresh. Fresh. Yeah, well, I've adopted many way. American ways now. <laughs> I'm originally from Europe. Before I became a citizen, you stick your nose in there, you'd have killed right over. Uh, if, if you were truly American, you'd be shaving. I am. Oh. <laughs> under there. Oh, under there? No. I don't shave under there, but yeah. lower. That's right. I shave my feet. Oh, I see. They don't need to be shaved. I just enjoy the sensation. Are they hairy when you don't? No. Hmm. No, I just like the feeling of shaving my feet. Mm. And by shaving my feet, I think you know what I mean. <laughs> I hope you know what I mean, because I have absolutely no idea what I mean. How are you, Rod? It's nice to see you. I'm very well. Good. You're you? still Australian? I'm still Australian. Uh, I thought you were Irish, so I wore green, but I guess I messed that up. <laughs> clovers and everything. <laughs> well, that's, don't worry about that. My, my, uh, my father's mother was Irish. So there you are. I, I'm oh. as Irish as most Americans who claim to be Irish. Actually. <laughs> so, yeah, it's all right. All right, yeah. so that's not a fun Well, I'm, I'm glad you wore the green hiddly dighty do Thanks a lot. Oh, you're really making me feel at home with your green dress wearing. I feel like I'm back there in the old country enjoying clover. <laughs> okay. All right. So, um... The film is about, uh, is about someone who has a spiritual experience, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Are you very spiritual? Are you, uh, or are you a spiritualist? Do you enjoy contacting the dead using a Ouija board? Uh, I wouldn't say that I'm a non-believer. Right. So I haven't had the experience of God, but um, I'm open to the idea. Really? You haven't had the experience of God? Have you, for example, had a fresh strawberry? <laughs> 
beautiful sunset. Well, a beautiful sunset, a fresh yeah. strawberry. I've seen a gorgeous rainbow. Right. Yeah. Yeah, well, that would be... Uh, and, and what about you? Have you Well, I've seen all of these things. I have experienced... God? Yeah. Well, I don't know if I've experienced God. I've certainly... I have no problem. I've got a... I don't know. Maybe a little... <laughs> complicated question, isn't it? It is, it's, yeah, it's a very it's complicated a... question. Do you, do you wonder about it a lot? Um, no, I don't think about it. I think of it in, in the way that we think about the Earth. You know, we're all part of it. Right. And it could have an identity separated from the idea of all of us or not, if that makes sense. Right, so you simplified it a great deal, I see. In many ways. <laughs> but I never think about it. <laughs> Are you, so I'm taking from this, you know, a, a person who's into organized religion in any way. I, I, I like the idea of people getting together and thinking about something bigger than their bank accounts. But, um... That's organized religion. I mean, that could... Yeah. I mean, so how would you interpret that? And, and I do... I actually like to meditate, but that's kind of by myself. I don't know if that's spiritual. That's not, I think, that's what do you I think that? meditation has got a yeah. place in most organized religions. Well, Christianity, Islam, Judaism, they all have a, bit, a place for, uh, for meditation, I think. But if, you don't, if you don't know the answer, you Google it. Everybody does. Well, yeah, but you're not necessarily going to get the right answer, are you? I mean, look at that Wikipedia. All these kids that are failing their exams because they go on Wikipedia and they think, oh, that must be right. And they realize later on that, you know, saying that, you know, Hitler was a teenage lesbian isn't going to pass the exam. <laughs> And I'm impressed that more people aren't even putting more crap on Wikipedia. I mean, it's it's quite sincere still. People attempt to present the facts as they are. Are you happy with seventy percent accurate? Have you have you Wikipedia yourself? I have actually, yeah. And what apparently, was it, I play 70 the harp. Seventy percent or ninety <laughs> percent? I'm not kidding. No, apparently, you're Irish. Am I? Did you? No, no. Did no, you say I'm Irish? No, no, no. no I, all right, all right. I, I probably would have thought you were, and I would have put it on. Right. No, but, but I'm impressed because I, I sometimes cook, uh, rarely, but when I do, I look recipes up on the internet. And I'm impressed with the amount of time that people have put into putting their favorite recipes on the internet, you know? Okay. And they don't like mess up the recipes, they don't like put salt instead of sugar just to annoy you. How do you know? Well, the ones that I've worked with have been successful. In what way? They might have been successful in the fact you enjoyed the taste. Exactly. But the original recipe may have said, you know, for duck a l'orange, don't put lemon don't put and butter. <laughs> well, they've tasted good. I mean, they haven't tasted bad. I mean, right. you can imagine people putting, you know, completely bizarre things up there just to kind of I'm mess sure there's with a things. website for bizarre recipes. I, I, yeah. I mean, there is everything. That's why it's completely without Well, without I guess consequence. what I'm saying is it's still relatively innocent. I mean, people don't mess Excuse with it Excuse me, much. you've not been to the websites I've been to. <laughs> I'm sure you've been to some interesting websites, but they remain in, in the context. Like, they don't appear in the Disney channel. You know what I mean? They, they stay where they're supposed to be. Nobody's, like, messing with the idea. There's not that level of cynicism yet. <laughs> What's the movie oh, about you... again? I can't remember. No, it's about, it's about love and hope. Right. What right. about the uh, well, the internet then? If you, if it's innocent, do you go on the internet dating? Do you do the the? Would no. You, why? Why not? I, I don't know. You I find yourself a nice innocent a nice recipe innocent, maker, like dates. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. What do you look for in a man? I look for authenticity. Right. And. Um, Abs? Good abs? <laughs> An authentic man with good abs. Six pack. I'm Australian, so we're, right, yeah. you know, we're, we're big believers Do you believers enjoy the swimming? That. A lot of the Australians enjoy swimming. Um, I do enjoy swimming, but I've only recently... I have been, like, with the breaststroke, and I recently learned the breath I'm, stroke. No, no I'm, I'm, not, I'm not talking about you actually oh, swimming. Oh, do I enjoy no, watching I mean, people Watching swim. other people swim, <laughs> which Australians <laughs> love, apparently. <laughs> Well, in the Olympics, yeah. I was in saying... In the Olympics, yeah, yeah. I love to. I mean, yeah, I've been very impressed, and I feel very proud. But the Australians are doing very the well. They're some of the fastest well. swimmers in the world. Got to be, are. though, a lot of sharks around Australia. You've got to be a fast swimmer. That's true. I know. That's I went true. to Australia once. Did I, you? Yeah. I, this is the interesting thing. This year's the twist. I yeah. went to Australia, and I ate a shark. <laughs> vegetarian but I think if you're going to, I mean shark will eat you right <laughs> so you could eat the shark without feeling too much guilt so that that you feel it's okay then as a vegetarian to eat animals that would eat you <laughs> in that sense please enjoy your cat because if it was big enough yeah it would yeah eat me. yeah no listen sure. if you stayed still long enough it would, it it would, eat you. would yeah, yeah. Do you have a cat I bet you have a cat I don't there is some stray cats that come over and I've started feeding them milk um, and I'm hoping that they'll stick around. But you see, I'm always traveling, so I'm looking for a pet that I don't have to sort of worry about when I'm gone. So. Pet rock. Fish. 
you know, fish, you've got to be careful with fish. Right? Fish are actually much more, you need much more attention than, uh, than you think. I discovered that one terrible weekend with my goldfish. Oh, no. No, it's all right. No, He's I better know, now, sad. kids. I, I remember, actually, as oh, a kid, seeing oh. my goldfish floating to the top of the tank. Yeah, yeah, no, it was... Uh, it's it was... sad. You never recover from stuff like that. I know. So, do you have a pet? Not anymore. Oh. No, I do. I'm I sorry. have dogs. I have dogs. Oh, you do? Yeah, 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 I have dogs. Two dogs. Two dogs. Yeah, right. do you have any dogs? No. You want to get a dog, they're fantastic. No, they're, they're more trouble than cats, right? They... Not at all. A dog's yeah. great. A dog will follow you around. It poops where you tell it to. It's awesome. But I like the cat because it's kind of like this mood enhancer. You just you, you pet the cat and it purrs and sort of the room kind of... It's like having one of those lava lamps. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's how I see a cat. You think a cat's like a lava lamp? <laughs> I thought I was smoking some powerful weed. You know? <laughs> Off the hook. Well, they are, and they, can, they just sort of create this beautiful ambiance where his dog needs your attention, you know. It's... Not my dog. Yeah? No, he's a German Shepherd. Oh, okay. He doesn't need you. In fact, he's going to annex you. They... I, I've seen some pathetic German Shepherds. Oh, no, there's my German Shepherd say. that marches up and down in the middle of the night. <laughs> da, 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 yeah, he's crazy. Uh -huh. I'm telling you, I hear him talking to his friends on the phone. Yes, why not? We annex us a bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> He's banana. He's that's a crazy. And then I've got a Jack Russell, who's a little oh, English I dog love that goes. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, like they're that. cool. Yeah, no, they're good. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Now, if you have one of those dogs around, you're never bored because everything to those dogs is exciting. I know that dog could get excited just when I come home. That dog literally pees on the floor. <laughs> That is. And then I have, feel I have to do it as well, you know, as well. <laughs> We're way over time, I'm sorry. We have to go. It's lovely to see you yeah, again, Ryder. Thanks for coming. Thank you for wearing your lovely green oh, dress. Ryder Mitchell, everybody. We're right back. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Please welcome Ryder Mitchell, everybody. Ryder Mitchell. You look lovely. You look oh boy, look at you. You're all kind of. I, I'm in high definition. Yeah, boy, well, yes. <laughs> I have my high definition makeup on and everything. And and is it different makeup? It's more red. The lips and the I don't know the base. I don't know. Ask the makeup is artist. It? You know what? I should, start, I should start wearing makeup. <laughs> <laughs> it's very subtle, whatever it is. That what you really? Do. No, yeah. it's just because they go. All right, all right, on you go. No, you, are, you are looking very high definition. Well, yourself. I am. I'm a very vivid person. But look at you. Uh -huh. You're all. You're all lovely. And is this the Flouncy style and... now with the flounce? Is the flounce it's, in? It's my feminine nature. I thought I'd flaunt it tonight. Yeah. No. Good for you. I'm happy to. <laughs> happy to see it. Oh, uh, well, thank yeah, you. no, I'm very happy. I'm, I'm very ha excited about your film because it, it's got Bruce Willis in it, and he never disappoints. No, he is like the consummate action hero. He always like hits the marks. In yeah, the and, and he, you know, and the, the car crash, and then you know, he's. But he, I've got a feeling he'll be okay. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Well, yeah? you'll have to wait and see. You'll have to go see the film. I mean, it's an interesting role for him. <laughs> <laughs> go see the film. Um, oh, I like your cup. <laughs> <laughs> go see the film? Can't you be more on, subtle not? than that? Why Come not go on. see the film? <laughs> no, it's go see the film, everybody. Well, no, it's great. It's, it's actually really interesting because you get to see Bruce Willis with a blonde wig. I've seen that. As well. You have never seen yeah. that. Yeah. You've never seen that. Before. I have. I saw, I, saw it, I saw it in a club one night. <laughs> He was researching a role. Okay, he must have yeah. been doing research for this role. Because you see him in, as a robot. He He's plays a, ro a surrogate. He plays a robot, right? And then what you just saw was him as a human being. How and did what you, you saw was me as a robot. Oh. But this is me as a human being. I, I can see that very clearly. Is it when you've got straight hair, you're a robot, and then when you've got curly hair, you're a, you're a human being? Is that what it is? It is a bit like that, actually. Yes, see, I know, I understand how see, it works. It's, it's tricky, but it's quite subtle, because in the movie, I also play a human being, and when I play the human being, I have the curly hair. Different hair. And when I'm a robot, I have the straight, you know. You're giving away the entire the movie. People are going, oh. It's fascinating material. Now, in the movie, but you're not Australian in the movie, are you? 
Uh, no, I don't get to be, which was unfortunate. I get to play American, though, which was fun. Yeah, that, that's fine. No, we're very happy to have you play an American. I'm an American. Are yeah. you an American yet? Uh, no, I'm not. I'm still not. But you definitely are? Oh, yeah. I did, you know, I did the, the, the all that. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's nice to be able to be both. In fact, I do look forward to being Australian and American. Are you going to do it then? You're going to become an American I'm citizen? I'm considering it. Yeah, I'm not in a hurry, but yeah, why not? Well, you better get hurry up. Yeah. <laughs> they, they're not letting We're nearly full up. They are. They're yeah. almost full. It's true. Yeah, no. I, I gotta get a do move you go on. back? Do you go back to Australia a lot? Do you go there? Um... Yeah, I was just there. I thought I'd spend my um, summer holidays in the rain in Melbourne. Yeah, because it's mom. winter over there yeah, in the summer. It's the reverse. So it's, I was just everything's there. upside down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Trees grow underground. And the water goes the, the other way. The water goes down the, the other way. Hole. Which yeah. way does it go here? I don't even know. I just know it goes the other way there. Do you know? I I haven't does looked at know? it in a long time. <laughs> We could swirl some water that. around no, right yeah. around and see what way it goes. Yeah. Yeah. It's just kind of moving up and down. Yeah, yeah. On, man. It's because it's, it it's, it's, it's probably an earthquake or something. Yeah, hmm? nice. It is water, not coffee. No, it's not coffee. I, I, can't, I can't, can't drink coffee. And, CBS and budget. All this. Yeah, no. <laughs> so you live here in L.A. then, do you? Yeah, I'm still living in L.A. Yeah, yeah, you enjoy you, it? You're living in L.A. still? Uh, uh, yeah, just over there. <laughs> yeah, I live... Uh, yeah, that Don't way. point out your house on Somewhere. TV, people will be coming around. <laughs> what, do you, what do you do when you're here? Do you, uh, do you like to go scuba diving and stuff? Um, I, I've been scuba diving once, and I, I discovered that I hate scuba diving in the process. But I was in Fiji, maybe it's Fiji, it's such a horrible place. Fiji's a horrible place? Um, no, no. <laughs> I, I'd heard so many nice things about no, I'm, it. I'm, I'm kidding, I had like two minutes uh, dive, I mean, training, and I right. went down, and you know, and I, there was beautiful fish, and the whole thing was, you know, coming to life, and my heart was pumping really fast, and I'm like, I'm, I'm not a fish, I should definitely not be down what here. What about flying? Go the other, other way. You, you could do that. Well, I heard that you... you uh, I can fly can now, fly yes. Now. I've got a pilot's license. How about that? Well, yeah, that's right. something that I want to do. And I live actually near the um, Santa Monica airport. Right. And I hear that it's quite inexpensive to take flying lessons. Yeah, it's not that expensive. No, it's certainly not if long. I give you the lesson. <laughs> <laughs> and, here, and, here's, and here's why. A, uh -huh. it's illegal. And that makes it exciting. That brings the price right down. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm not but how qualified. long did it take you to learn how to fly? Well, I don't know. I mean, because I, I, I got busy and I went away. I, I started on my 45th birthday. I'm 47 now and I just got my license. But I, there were bits I in between. I can't believe you're 47. Yeah, no, no. Impossible. Uh-huh. Yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> but you can fly. Uh, all right. Is that, yeah, is yeah, that yeah. like a midlife crisis thing? Go and see the movie. <laughs> having a midlife crisis as well because I want to learn how to fly. Wait, it wait, I didn't learn good. because it was a midlife crisis. <laughs> what are you saying? I don't know. I just thought it might be somewhat connected, you know. No, like, no, I learned because it was an ambition. I always, no, the reason I took yeah. flying lessons is because I was frightened of flying. Okay. And I don't like being frightened. Are you frightened of diving? <laughs> scuba diving? Yeah, scuba diving. Not anymore, I oh, can do it. Can yeah, do no, it. I, I'm well, only frightened of things I can't do. Right now I'm frightened of hosting a talk show. <laughs> No, it's terribly difficult. Um, no, I have flying. It's on. It's on a list of. Like I have a list as well with. Um, do you have like a I bucket list? Yeah, it's kind of like a bucket list. But I have like belly dancing, and surfing, and then flying. Surfing's pretty good. I like yeah. surfing. Well, I, I sort of went surfing the other day, and I knelt on the board. So I guess flying. And the board was in the water. Next, the board was. <laughs> Yeah, it was. And you're it, you're it almost turned, there. It opens up your whole perspective on the city because I live, you know, by the beach, and to be able to surf in the water is a yeah. whole different thing. Could right? watch for the, uh, you know, <laughs> the dumping or the not dumping. No, no. Well, sort of. Yeah. But uh, no, the yeah, uh, what they the call sharks. Them? That's the, the thing. Yeah, yeah. they have them. You uh, have you have them in Australia, of course. Yeah, the, yeah. Uh, they're uh, they're they're there's an infestation of them in Australia, isn't there? The creatures live there. Yeah, they, yeah they're in the lot. ocean. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, they're not, they don't live in the, the city. They then. haven't started flying yet. <laughs> flying shark, that'd be terrifying, like flying along, that and the shark scary, right? coming after you. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, that's a whole that's different. We're out of time. We're out of time, rather. Oh, God. I know, I hate this bit. It. Because I'm I never know how to end it. See, I don't, I don't know, know how to host a talk show. I don't know how to end the bit. But I feel like talking, but, you yeah, know, they've got to sell. We just keep going. Oh, well. Go see the movie. <laughs> we'll end it on that.
experience. Do you know, that's, do you see that guy? That was amazing, man. Yeah, yeah, it's all right for you, man. He's sitting there insulting me the whole time. <laughs> yeah, like I said, that was amazing. Yes. <laughs> My next uh, guest is a very beautiful and talented actress. She's currently to be seen in theatres in the movie Olympus Has Fallen. She stars in Red Widow, which airs Sundays on ABC. Please welcome the terrific Radha Mitchell, everybody. Radha Mitchell. Just sensational, may I say. Yeah, but you say that to everyone, right? Uh, no, not everyone. I didn't say it to Rickles. I think I tried to. Well, he looks all right. He's, yeah, no, he looks he fine. He's kind of mean to you, though. He's always mean to me. I don't know what it is. Like, when we're not on camera, he's, he's so, so sweet. sweet and lovely. He's my friend. He comes yeah. to my house. I feed him little tidbits. And then... <laughs> And then when, when the cameras are on, he's like, da, 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 da. So grumpy. Yeah, yeah. Do you have anyone like that in your life who's mean to you when other people are around, but nice to you when you're on your own? Uh, uh, uh my manager? Yeah. No. He's here tonight. He's so evil. Do no, I was going to say, do you need a hug after Whoa, all that? Yes, oh, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Oh, I was wondering. No, I'm sitting here. <laughs> and, oh, yeah. Okay. Thanks. Uh, oh, I feel good now. Oh, so oh, do I. Was I. A bit ah. nervous. It really cheered me up. Did you notice my extremely large nipple on one side? I, I felt something. Yeah, I know. Sorry about shoulder. that. How have you been? I haven't seen you in a while. Where I've have been, you been? I've been. I've been here. I've been making my TV show. I've been. Oh yeah. Shreveport. Yeah, yeah. I've been in. Shreveport, Louisiana. Yeah. I love it down there. Yeah, I And do also too. in Louisiana. You do. <laughs> when we. Shreveport has a population of 200,000 people, but they have their own uh, movie studio. They have their and own got air force base. And they've got a little airport there, which they I've landed in a little plane. And they have casinos. Yeah, they have casinos. What as well. were you doing there? In a little plane? Yeah. I like to fly little planes sometimes. Ooh. Yeah, I know. I've got a pilot's license. It's crazy. You can just get them at the store. That's so impressive. That's so impressive. Have you ever flown a plane? I've never flown a plane, but I have a fantasy about flying a plane. What does it look like? I get in a plane and I fly it. Well, you should learn. You've yeah, got money. You've got the TV fine. shows and the movies. You can do it. Okay, okay. It's not that expensive. You've inspired me. Yeah, you should. Take flying lessons. Okay. And then land in uh, Shreveport, Louisiana. It's a nice little airport. they got a vending machine right there. <laughs> I'd go back there. I like it there. Actually. Yeah, yeah. No, it was nice. Did you make... You didn't make the Olympus Has Fallen, Olympus then, did Olympus Has Fallen was made there because it looks so much like... Uh, Washington, Washington, D.C. DC. Yeah, I didn't notice that when I was there, but fair enough. <laughs> Hey, hey uh, yeah. my friend Jerry Butler was in the movie with you. Yeah, oh, yeah. He's, oh he's Did he hit on you? He hits on everybody, he I know. He didn't hit on I, me. He didn't yeah. hit on me. I was insulted. I was like, what? Now, that would be his tactic. No, it's like Gerard who, right? Yeah, yeah. No, oh, sorry, that I call him Jerry. Yeah, yeah, Gerard, right. yeah. Gerard. Gerard um, Butler. No, but I, it did make sense because he had a very gorgeous, like, uh, Victoria's Secret model on set who was there every day and, and you know, keeping an eye on him. Really? Mm-hmm. <laughs> that doesn't sound like the Jerry I know. Not at all. Wait a minute. Yes, that sounds exactly like the Jerry I know. Well, that's nice. Did you have a nice time making the film? Was, was he nice lovely. It was great. You know, I really Morgan Freeman's in the movie, Morgan isn't? Freeman's in the movie. He plays the vice president. Really? What would that sound like, Jeff? Well, uh, Olympus is falling. <laughs> that horse. Secretary? What's up with the horse? He's not here right now, but I was no, wondering, well, is it always the same people in the horse, or is it... Different people. What are you talking about? I don't know. What are you talking about? You got anything you want to say about Santa as well? What the hell's wrong with you? Are you lonely or what is it? Why do you have... Uh, you've got... Things have changed. Look. I'm, it's been a long time since we've done let this. Me, I'll, I've gone through this before. I'll do it yeah. again. I work okay. in late night television. It is uh -huh. a tired genre. I am a Jungian. And what I have a here Jungian? is... A Jungian? A Jungian, yes. Okay. So okay, he, a Jungian. It's, 
Well, I did. It's my accent. Uh, anyway, yeah. right. I'm a Jungian or a Jungian, depending. And okay. what I like to do is have a sort of dreamlike environment and also mock the very genre to which I belong. Oh. Therefore, my sidekick agrees with everything. He is a robot, but he's also the mocking presence of death. Do you see? <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, and the horse? Reminding me that everything is transient. The and horse the is a sexual fantasy. I not it. directly. It's it's not a direct sexual fantasy. It's not like I'm sexually attracted to horses. But you know. No, I'm not. But but the horse, you know, it, it implies virility, virility and, and yes. sexuality. Big and, teeth. And big teeth. America. Yes. Something. Uh, and and America, yes. All right, yeah. <laughs> Because I was hoping I could dance. I mean, I saw you dancing with the horse before I leave. Could I dance with the horse, too? Perhaps. <laughs> yes, uh, I don't know where the horse maybe, is maybe going. No, I've no never seen the stable door closed. Perhaps away. milk has been spilled. Something's happening. <laughs> anyway, anyway, so it looks like you've, been ha you've, you've got friends here now. You're not alone, so that's nice. <laughs> Are you mocking me? It's a tough job. I, I mean, I get so nervous just coming on the show. I can just imagine what it's like for you. So it must be very nice having the sidekick and the. You are mocking me. Yeah. <laughs> I don't get. I don't get nervous doing this show. Not at all. Not at all. That's I'm not nervous now. Right. That's a little quite, bit. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> You're I think not, I'm, I'm not nervous. You've done it at too all, many no. times. No. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and you intend to keep doing it and doing it. How many years have you been doing it now? Nine years now. Nine years. Yeah. yeah. Here's oh, to please nine don't. more years. Yeah. <laughs> Like, really? Well, they told me they told me how old you were before I came on the show, and I figured I'm not going to mention it because then you're going to ask me how old I am. I would never ask a lady how but, old she is. But never, but while never. We're quit because we're on the subject of mortality. Somewhat, we've mentioned him. They're like, we should be counting out hours at this point, don't you think? To, to, <laughs> to, to, to what? <laughs> to the end, my friends. Are you? <laughs> I mean, if you work out the percentage of, of how much time we have left on the planet, and, and you and I are now going to spend maybe five minutes, is it, together right now? What percentage? No, I think we're that? done, actually. <laughs> oh, no. No, no, sweetheart, we, we are done. I mean, it's like, it, it, it's, you know, it's not you, it's me. So I'm not allowed to come back? Yes, you are. You can come back after the commercial break, which we have to take. Oh, God, all right. <laughs> what is it? We'll be right back. We'll be right back. What did we learn on the show tonight, Greg? <laughs> we learned on the show that Rada would like to dance with Secretariat. We don't have much time, so let's begin. Let's do it.